Hi and welcome back to my channel. This is Mimi's Art. Today's video is about my analytics. We are going to compare June versus July. So let's get into it right away. And you can see already that there is a difference between the two here as far as views, watch time and subscribers is concerned. All right, so in June, 2.4K, in July, 1.9, so a little less. I must say that I'm filming this on the actual 31st of July, so I'm missing one day, and I did upload a short today, so that could offset the numbers just a little bit because it has not yet been calculated into the July analytics. So, but the reason I'm recording today is because tomorrow, as a family, we might have some important things uh, that we need to do. So I just wanted to film today rather than squeezing it in in tomorrow's chaos. So you can see very, very quickly already the overview. Um, I've had uh, 2.3K or I guess it says 2.4K views versus 1.9K. And my watch time here was up by 7% versus May. And here now we're looking at 10% less in June. In our subscribers, that was 13, which was 18% more. And now we have 10, which is 23% less. So that's very quick, like compared May to, or June to July. However, um, I can't complain, you know, it's, it's, it's still growing. Things are still moving. And even though one month might be a little bit down versus another, it doesn't mean that the channel is suffering it just means that might just be a month where i posted stuff that people aren't interested in or there was not as much engagement or i was not being consistent things like that on a different note i am sitting outside recording this today in 32.7 degree uh, weather which is i think just about 90 degrees fahrenheit if not a little bit more i have the sprinklers on because it's sprinkling water on my toes and i'm sitting in the shade in my backyard so if you pick up sounds from water pressure, a breeze from the wind or birds, I do apologize. I really hope that when I go edit that I can just edit out those sounds. So bear with me. Okay, so that's the quick comparison and we'll go down here. We'll look at the top videos. Like this is gonna be the same, like about every month not necessarily the same videos, but the same format, the shorts. Um, will be like here's the views by the way the shorts will definitely always have more views at least for now because my regular content is not really picking up views at the moment as much as i would like but i'm quite happy that there are shorts that are uh, being watched so and here comes like on six number six is my long-term content and here you see six through nine Previous months were long form content. And then here um, we've got, still got four long form videos in the top 10. And again, you can see that this forest portal painting again ends up in my top 10 and both in the same spot in the eighth spot, which is funny. We'll look at that in a second, but that has been a video that has been consistently getting views. So I'm quite happy about that. The other ones are um, newer videos. Like these ones I posted all in June. As can, you can see here, June 21st, June 7th, and then May 31st. But I didn't think that started counting until June. Because like, if you post it on the last day of the month, you do not get the analytics of that video until probably 24 to 48 hours in. And these, and funny enough though, this one, How to Paint a Cat with Acrylic, Miss Molly right here, that one actually picked up and I can tell you why in a little bit but I'm just doing the quick overview here right now the comparison okay so still mostly shorts in my top viewed videos and but there's long form in there as well so I'm very happy about that okay let's go to content and content over here so it automatically goes to shorts so we'll just check out the shorts first uh quick glance you can see there is a slight um, decrease so from 2.1k to 1.8k mind you this one is from May 2nd to 31st this one is from June 1st to the 30th funny enough like the comparison so they compare it slightly different and obviously we're still looking over here at the month of June and this is the month of July but this is compared to the month 
previous, right? So Shonen Feed, 7K, Shonen Feed, 6K, so that's a little bit less. And then how many likes and subscribers? Well, there we go. There's a slight difference. So 47 likes, which was less. And here it says 45 likes, which is about the same, which makes sense, right? 47, 45, there's only two likes difference. And then the subscribers actually went up by one here. So that is pretty cool. Still doing something right. I'm still getting some subscribers. I mean, they're not numbers, you know, to, you know, fill a stadium and cheer, but it's, it's progress and that's all I'm looking for. All right, so we're gonna go down and look at the overall, how viewers find my shorts. It's gonna, oh, there is a slight difference, funny enough. 91.4 shorts feet, 89.7. It actually went down and YouTube search here went up by one, not even a whole percent, but almost from 4.8 right here to 5.5. Funny enough. So how many chose to view, how many chose to swipe away? Well, I guess we kind of uh, went down a little bit there. I mean, it's very close. Uh, there's less than a percent difference, right? But it is, um, it's the same, right? Not everybody's interested. And then these are the top ones, just the, the amount and the amount here. We're all around the 400 views and this one just kind of flopped a little bit. The debunking the myth is art really a solo endeavor. So that's what happened there. We're going to go back now. We're going to go to videos, which I find a little bit more important because I really want my channel to be more about long form rather than shorts. Okay, again, it's gone down. And let me see. Oh, no, let's not do that because then we're going to go back. So let's see here. This was up 260 views. Now we're at 149. Everything has kind of gone down here. And that's kind of sad. I mean, I'm looking at how many have I produced? Two, right? Because right now I do every two weeks a video and here to also every two weeks. Um, but that doesn't mean that these are just views from those videos. They could be from older videos as well. Impressions were 9K, impressions 5. So last month I was excited because I'm like, yeah, YouTube is pushing my videos. And now I'm like, okay, what's going on? What's happening? Um, impressions. Click-through rate stayed the same. Now I'm very, actually very happy about this right here. That is a reason for celebration. People have watched my stuff longer than last month. I am excited because I, what I really am looking for is the, that watch time going up that I can actually reach my 4,000 K watch hours, but also can keep people engaged. And funny enough, the latest video that I've done, which will be right here. Oh, it will pop up below it. Let me see. The master acrylic painting and dog ear tips. That one was fairly long. It was like 30 minutes, I think just, just below 30 minutes and nothing was sped up. There was, there were no time lapses in that video. And for whatever reason, it kept people engaged longer. So I might just try and do that again in the next video. So that to me was something that I learned this month. I'm like, hey, longer videos sometimes give you actual longer watch time. People stick around with it. And I'm thinking maybe just not fast forwarding through my painting might also be something to really keep in mind. All right, so we're gonna go back down here. Oh yeah, those are the key moments for audience retention. So I'm keeping people engaged. These are the exact three uh, videos on both sides because that's the same all across the board. But the good thing is that these are most recent, somewhat most recent videos. So I must be doing something good to keep people engaged. Um, how people find me. So last month, suggested videos was up higher, 33.5 versus 24.8. Um, the browse feature here was down, now it's up. So people find me as, as they are browsing YouTube, as they are looking at their homepage and I pop up and they click on it. And um, YouTube search, I'm excited, 14.7 went up. So people have been searching my stuff and find me. Very, very great channel pages. Uh, on, if I'm sometimes featured on somebody else's channel, I don't know if I am. If I am featured on your channel, let me know because then I'll just do a shout out for your channel. I really, I really appreciate it if other people do that. I have a few featured channels on my um, channel page um, or you could have just been searching for someone and ended up on my channel page and that's how you got to my video. So I'm not quite sure how YouTube 
actually breaks this down. Hold on, let me see. Traffic from your YouTube channel page, other YouTube channel pages, or topic channel pages. Okay. Yeah, so that sums that up. And then ex external, that has gone up by 9.4. Could be anything. And then others also gone up. The only thing that has gone down is the suggested videos. But I'm, I'm actually not mad about this at all. I like the fact that people browsing and people searching has gone up. So yay. Yay for that. Exciting. Exciting. Okay, we're going to go over to see which videos were top producing. All right, so this one definitely was on top um, in June. It was a bit of a dramatic thumbnail, a bit of a dramatic title, but it worked, right? 99 views and then here the highest video only actually got 36 views which is very recent um, and i'm still getting views on that even today this morning it was sitting at about 33 now we're sitting at 36 so it's still generating views which is cool um, this was my um, first analytic video okay so how to paint a fantasy forest 33 views in june versus 19 in july but still getting views it's evergreen content i'm very excited about that um, unlocked realism is not in this one at all. That was just like, okay, it ran its course. Who knows? Maybe in the future it will start taking off. And then, uh, there's the poison dart frog, which I have not seen any top video, like top views here at, at all. Just the top five, right? This is not all of them. So July, July, what happened in July? Well, long form. I mean, if you look at the numbers, they are lower than this month for sure. You know, but I'm still getting views. You know, it's not like I get zero views. Videos are still being watched. I got to look at the bright side because YouTube can be difficult and it can be a long haul and it can be discouraging. And when I look at these numbers versus these numbers, then yeah, definitely you see a difference. All right, we are going to go back up and I want to show you something really cool is the posts because I have been experimenting with posts. So I will show you what is going on here. Look at the difference here. It's kind of neat to see that last month the impressions were 176. So it was already on the up and the likes were nine. Now we're at 269. I mean, obviously I'm not getting thousands upon thousands of impressions, but these are just community posts. So I post a picture and I'm like, yo, this is what I'm doing today. Like a picture of me editing a video or a picture of me at the beach or, you know, a poll. Hey, what would you like to see in the future? You know, use those community posts because look at this. YouTube is sending them out to people. They will show up on random people's homepages. So don't underestimate the posts, the community posts. And I got 19 likes. So that I'm excited about. Oh, I just went back one here. Hold on. Let me fix that. We're going back to content posts. Okay, when I go down here, the top ones, there's a lot more in here than here because I have been posting a lot more. So this is interesting because you can see there's two here, five here. And I think anything that gets zero likes, zero comments, no engagement, I don't think will end up in this particular, you know, spot. But there is a difference, right? Like I've got more likes and I did post a lot more. So... I can see that it's paying off. I'm quite happy about that. Now, did I get any subscribers from that? Uh, nope, no here, no there, but it is definitely a possibility. Some people have said that they've got gained subscribers through their community posts. So I'm just gonna keep posting and um, you know, it's only a few minutes of my time to really put something in there. So yeah, utilize it, it, it can make a difference. Okay, so let's go to all overall view june versus july okay so shorts got 2k views versus 1.7 so it went down a little bit mind you i did mention that i posted a short today which is probably not going to be calculated in this july analytics here how many videos views from videos and we're looking at new viewers by the way sorry i forgot to mention that new viewers 184 on videos really cool regular videos and in july a little less 80. i mean who knows it's it's summer right people might just not be on youtube they may be outside doing things i'm wishful thinking okay <laughs> 
Okay, so we're going over to returning viewers on shorts, 18 on shorts, 24 on video, 16 on shorts, 13 on video, so it's a little less. Overall, everything is a little less in July. So subscribers, I gained two subscribers in June from shorts, three subscribers in July. Woohoo, one more, one more. Got to celebrate every win, okay? It's important. Seven from videos last month, six from videos this month. I mean, am I going to, you know, lose sleep over that? No, no, I'm not. It's just their numbers. They tell me stuff and then I can move on from there. Okay, they did not make or break me. They're just numbers. Okay. Overall views, we already kind of looked at this a little bit, 2.1K from shorts and 266 came from videos last month. This month, 1.8K, a little less. And 149 views from videos. Now, published content, how much versus... Okay, I can see a difference here too. So uh, yeah, my regular long form videos will sit at two because that's what I've committed to and I've been doing that and I'm hoping to increase that once the children go back to school. Um, but I've posted less shorts. I went from posting maybe twice a week to only once a week and an extra one here or there if I happen to make one. So that would also make sense if you look at the five short versus the eight that all my numbers have kind of sort of gone down a little bit. Okay, impressions and how they led to watch time. Big difference, 13.1K versus 8.3. Click-through rate has stayed the same. Views from impressions has gone down from 226 to 141. Watch time from impressions went down by one hour. Like I said, everything has gone down a little bit. I posted three less shorts and the one that I just posted today obviously has not been, you know, counted in or accounted for sorry viewers across formats i'm seeing a slight shift happening here um, but a lot still people watch both i still have 23 percent watching both 45 percent only shorts and then 32 percent videos only so it's kind of well balanced in a way and nothing changed here so all right how viewers find me yeah we're at here and then here move you over smudges okay the shorts feed 81.2 versus 82.8 so a slight increase youtube search 5.9 went up to 6.5 like i've noticed in the last three months really that the youtube search has been going up so people are finding me by searching on youtube so that means that i'm making videos that people are looking for i do do my research to make sure that i create videos that i know is going to be searchable I have to say though that I still am very firmly believing that I do want to create what I'm passionate about and not only feed my audience what they want because especially when making art the first the reason I do art first and foremost is for my own mental health so I'm not going to sacrifice on that I'm not going to make any you know compromises on this whatsoever but I have looked at other people's channels and videos and I've done my research and there's lots that I can make that falls right within things that I really love to do. So don't worry. There will be a lot of stuff coming hopefully in the future that hopefully will speak to you that you want to watch. Okay, so suggested videos 3.7. Here it went down actually, even down a rank to 2%. Browse features 2.2. Browse here was 2.3, so that didn't change much. Channel pages has gone down and this is overall this is not just the one it's not just shorts or videos this is everything combined right so audience next the tab all right 28 returning viewers last month which was up 22 viewers this month they didn't put anything down i guess you can say it's roughly the same i mean not a huge difference 2.3 K, I hate it when these things pop up. Sorry about that. 2.3K unique viewers, 1.8K unique viewers in this month. And then 13 subscribers and 10 subscribers. I'm grateful for every subscriber. I mean, come on. If you think about it, in two months, I've gained 23 subscribers. I mean, that's 23 more than I had two months ago. So, so we go to watch time from subscribers. Most of them are not subscribed. So that's why I'm saying probably shorts... The shorts feed 
and that's okay. It eventually will change over time. No worries. I'm not too, too worried. And then age and gender. Last month, predominantly female. This month, it is a very close call. So not that I really care whether male or female or what have you watch my channel. But it's a fun statistic to look at. And we're looking at 33.3, like the 25 the 34 years is the age group that have watched my videos last month the most which was younger a younger um, age group last month why that changed i do not know and there seems to be a small increase here as well in the 35 to 44 and 45 to 54. another fun one to look at is the top geographies okay well, let's bring them up a little bit so we can see them better funny hey how all of a sudden canada boom about 50 percent 49.1 to be exact are viewing from Canada. Interesting. That was 7.8 last month. So as you can see over here, crazy, crazy. How, why did it change? Why the shift? I do not know, but hey, sometimes I just do not ask questions. I just do. And that was about it. And I don't have this information. Unfortunately, I wish I did. Still have nothing here. Channels that my audience watches, what they watch, formats that they view, yeah, don't have that stuff, but hey, all good. It'll come eventually. And as I say, the inspiration tab, I don't go there. I don't find any inspiration in it. So, or it used to be called the research tab. I personally don't find a lot of value in that. Now, if you have used it and have seen huge differences on your channel by utilizing what you found there, shoot me a message. Let me know, okay? Because I have no clue interested in checking out and actually i think i'm gonna throw this one away here for now we'll go to, to july uh checking out the videos this one again the fantasy forest painting just a little tiny rabbit trail so right now it's still going up 761 views 52 um it is still generating views Okay, so let's go to the month of, so here in June, so the beginning of June, we were at seven, sitting at 709, now at the end of July, we're sitting at 761, it's just like it's a small growth, it's not massive, but it is bringing in views and it's bringing in watch time, which is really helpful, you know, looking at May, let's see, let's see, from about June, Okay, so far it's brought in about four extra watch time hours. I need all the hours that I can get. So yeah, this video is still bringing in views and it's still... I get the impression click-through rate is 4.2. That's really nice, really nice. How viewers find this video is through YouTube search. So people are looking for probably this subject. And I've done a lot of research too lately to see what is it, what kind of art videos do people really watch? And I find that anything that has to do with fantasy, portals, fairies, you know, that kind of stuff seems to be of interest to people. So, an engagement, if yeah, people, average view duration is four minutes, which is cool. And the other video that I wanted to check out, let me see is um, this one. So how to paint a cat with acrylic. The reason I think this video all of a sudden got a little jump right here boop, is because I posted a short uh, about Molly because we unfortunately we had to put her down um, uh, a couple of weeks ago due to illness that she would not be able to recover from. And I decided a few weeks later to make a little tribute but also to point out why pet portraits are so important and why I think it would be great for anybody that you know really likes to have their pet memorized forever to have a pet portrait done so when I made the short you can do a related video into the short and I, I link this one and I'll show you I can go if, let's hold on I'll, I'll quickly let you in on that so we go to content and we go to shorts and let's go down here. Oh, here we go. Details. When you go down to related video, you can see how to paint a cat with acrylic 
that is the video that I've linked to this short. So I, that's why I believe that the video about Molly received a little bit more attention right here. Go back on it. Right about here. Because I posted it on the 27th, I believe. I forgot to check. But I, I think I posted it around the 27th to 24th, somewhere around that. And all of a sudden, I get a couple of extra views on this video. I mean, not lot, much, but about 20. Like, just by posting a short and putting that video in as a related video. So you can take away from that what you like. There's a lot of people that say that it absolutely makes no difference or that it's hurting, you know, their shorts or channel. I see a slightly different outcome here. So yeah, it's, I mean, is it going to get me to a thousand subscribers and my 4,000 watch hours? Not probably not, but it's, it's just a fun fact and fun thing to look up. When I just go to my overview, you can clearly see that it's like, oh, you have 223 more than usual and 1.8 more than usual. And this is actually based on the last 28 days. So from July 3rd to the 30th. So everything changes all the time. Every 24 hours, things change in your analytics. Don't let that, you know, bring you down. Don't let that make you feel, oh my gosh, I don't know what to make of this or my channel isn't growing. I'm not doing well. You're still growing. If you're still getting subscribers, you're still growing. That's 10 more subscribers than I had a month ago, right? So like I'm looking at my subscribers here and it's like an up and down, whatever, you know, still I'm getting subscribers. I'm sitting at 749. I can't complain. We're getting there. It's a slow process. But you know, even though it says a down arrow for the subscribers, 33% less, whatever, it's still 10 more subscribers than I had last month. And I'm just happy with that. And I'm just going to keep on going and going and going until I reach my goals. And then when I've reached my goals, I'll set new goals and we're just going to go for those. So do not give up keep on going. You got this. A new art video should be out in about two weeks. Stay happy, keep your peace, and see you in the next one. Bye!